Hey there, Gemini, and welcome back to Unicorn Tarot for your monthly reading. This is going to be a reading for December, and we're going to take a look at your past, present, and near future energies. Also, Gemini, if this reading resonates and you would like to book a personal reading, all the information about how to do that is in the description box below. And of course, if you enjoy what I do and you want to show your gratitude and say thank you, please consider buying me a cup of coffee or two. Donation link is below in the description box as well. And any and every amount is greatly appreciated. Okay. Well, main energy for your reading this month, the Ace of Pentacles. That is a beautiful, beautiful energy, Gemini. The Ace of Pentacles is all about brand new beginnings, not just energetic new beginnings, right? actual tangible new beginnings here in the 3d world so very very positive energy for december in the recent past you get the seven of cups the seven of wands and the four of wands there is a lot of resistance and also a lot of confusion a lot of emotional overwhelm in this connection you share a very strong bond with someone a very strong connection with this person but alongside this very strong bond and this very strong connection there also comes a lot of walls so i don't know if you're the one that has your walls up if it's the other person that has their walls up but there's a lot of resistance there's a lot of like as a result of having these walls up it's also very very confusing for somebody here but the bond the connection that you share is also very very deep in the current situation, you get the Ten of Swords, the Ten of Wands, and the Eight of Cups. I love this because what's coming to an end in the current situation is very difficult energy. If you felt like this whole thing is just too difficult, there's too many hardships, it's like an uphill battle. If you felt emotionally detached or emotional disconnect from your person, that seems to be coming to an end in the current situation. So I absolutely love seeing that. And that's why the main energy for your reading this month is the Ace of Pentacles, brand new beginning energy. So new phase, new leaf, love it. In the near future, you get the Chariot, the Universe, and the Ace of Cups. The reason the hardship, the difficult energy is coming to an end is because you've completed a cycle. You're starting, sorry, to complete a cycle in the current situation. And in the near future, you're closing out that cycle. You're completing that cycle and you're moving past whatever the hardship and the difficult energy was and you're moving towards a new beginning. And you get two aces. We haven't even started clarifying this reading and you already have two aces. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. Beautiful, brand new beginning energy in this reading for you. I am here for it. So if you were going through a difficult period or if you are still going through it, it seems like this month it's coming to an end. Um, love seeing that. So let's clarify. Let's see. We'll start off by clarifying the Ace of Pentacles, which is the main energy for your reading this month. Ace of Pentacles is clarified by the Star, the Six of Pentacles, and the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, you've been desiring, you've been yearning for this new beginning for quite some time with this other person. And you're showing me it's a slow progress. Like this person is really taking their sweet, sweet time when it comes to actually moving, interacting, engaging with you. I do see that there is an exchange of energy here showing up for you, which seems to be like new, right? So you and this person interacting, talking to each other, um, Whatever it is that you're exchanging energies with them, whatever that is for you and for them, it's something that you've been desiring for quite some time. And I also see that it is kind of like a new phase in this connection between you and your person. However, Gemini, I will say be patient. This person moves very, very, very slowly. Like the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving energy in the entire tarot deck. So this person really moves very, very slowly. Um, but it does seem like whatever energy you're giving them, they're reciprocating it. Although it may be slower than what you would like, they are still, you know, meeting you halfway. And again, I feel like this is your person's energy. This could also be your energy. So take it as it resonates. Let's clarify the recent past. I'm going to start off by clarifying the seven of cups and the recent past. Seven of Cups is clarified by the Fool, the Five of Pentacles, and the Temperance. You were very overwhelmed here in the recent past. It was all very, very like new to you, being apart from this person, having like experiencing like the loss of them, of this connection, right? And I do see that the fact that whatever ended um, or whatever you lost or experienced the loss of, it was very emotionally overwhelming for you. It was very confusing. It was very much like, I'm in uncharted territory. Like, I don't know how to move forward here, right? 
the beautiful thing here in the recent past is you were patient with yourself. So I can see you kind of just almost like being a little bit lost, a little bit confused, but still being like, okay, well, you know what? I'm just going to be patient. I'm just going to take my time. I'm going to work my way through this. Like there's no point in me rushing myself or rushing this whole situation. Um, which is very beautiful energy because usually, you know, when people are put in, a, in an uncomfortable situation, the first response we have is like, let's get out of this, let's get out of this. And you were kind of just like, okay, yes, this is uncomfortable. Yes, this is uncharted territory for me, but like, I'll just be patient. I'll let divine timing take its role and guide me out of this energy. Beautiful. Let's take a look at the seven of wands in the recent past for you. Seven of Wands is clarified by the Knight of Swords, the King of Swords, and the Two of Cups. You're showing me that, you know, despite this resistance in this love connection that you share with this person, despite the walls, despite everything, okay, you're still doing, you're still taking action here in the recent past. You're showing me that it's not stopping you dead in your tracks. Whatever's happening, and this is you, I don't assign gender to my cards. Whatever is happening, whatever hardship, whatever difficulties, it's not paralyzing you. You're kind of like, okay, I know I can deal with this. I know I can handle this. And you're able to move forward. You're still taking action here. Even though there is walls, even though, or sorry, there are walls. And even though there is resistance, you're still moving forward. Um, I don't know. Like, I feel like this is you in the recent past, not your person, but Whoever this is, they're still kind of like persevering through the difficult energies, which is very, very uncommon to see. So kudos to whoever this is. Let's clarify the four of wands in the recent past for you. Four of wands is clarified by the death of the moon and the nine of cups. Yeah. This is a strong connection. It is a strong bond. And you're showing me, even though things may have ended, right? There was a difficult ending, okay? I'm so focused on my emotional stability. I'm not going to let the ending of this connection affect me. So it's kind of like you're not really even looking at the ending. Like it ended, whatever ended, you're like, okay, it ended. I'm putting that aside because I still need to focus on myself, my needs, my emotional, my emotional stability, my emotional fulfillment, um, very, very mature, beautiful. I don't really know which word to use to describe like the energy that you're presenting here. Let's take a look at the current situation. I want to see the 10 of swords in the current situation. 10 of swords is clarified by the ace of wands, the page of wands and the emperor. Yeah. Following this ending, there is a new beginning here in the current situation. There's almost like a rekindling. And at the bottom of the deck, you get the ace of pentacles, which is the main energy for your reading. There's a new beginning. There's a new start here in the current situation. Now it is very, very small. It's very much like, for lack of a better term, underwhelming. Okay. But whatever ended, whatever came to an end in the recent past, it seems to be coming back in the current situation. There's like a rekindling of it. Now, Somebody here has an immense need for being in control. And what I mean by that is this person wants things to happen at their pace. So let's say you and your person are, you know, there's exchange of energies, you guys are talking, you're hanging out, whatever it is. It's all very much at the rate that they're comfortable with. And some of you may be dealing with a fire sign, Leo, Sag, Aries. Um, Aries and Sag are showing up strongly here. And so essentially this person is like, look, I, they're interacting with you, right? There is a rekindling, but it's very, it's, a, it's slow progress because this person is very much like, it has to happen at my pace. So if they want to text you 20 times a day, they expect you to respond 20 times a day. And if they don't want to talk to you for two days, they expect you to be okay with that too. Um, it's a little bit of like, I want to control the situation, but it's coming from a place I feel based on these energies of like protecting themselves for some reason. Um, I don't know. I don't know if this is you or your person, but either way, there is a rekindling in the current situation. There's a new beginning here for you in the current situation with this person that things ended with. Let's take a look at the 10 of wands in the current situation. 10 of wands is clarified by the magician, the page of pentacles and the six of wands. You're just manifesting things being good again. You're showing me it's hard. Okay, I understand that it's hard. I understand that it's difficult. But like, I just want things to be good again. I want us to get back to this place of like, you're good, I'm good, we're good together type of thing. And you're showing me it is slow progress, right? It is a slow progress here, but there is progress being made. 
again, it's baby steps, but at least these baby steps are leading somewhere. And it's not just like you guys are dead in the water. Let's take a look at the Eight of Cups in the current situation. Eight of Cups is clarified by the Knight of Wands, the Hanged Man, and the Ten of Pentacles. You still view this person as like your long-term relationship, as a person that you can build a future with, as a person that you can have a long-term successful connection with. And you, as far as you're concerned, you want to jump in with both feet. You're like, let's go, let's make this happen, right? But again, because things are moving so slowly, because there are no guarantees, and because this person is still exerting a little bit of like control over the situation... You're showing me that you don't want to get too emotionally invested in like, okay, this is working. We're making this happen. You're kind of like, I see, I still want a long-term relationship with this person. I, you, I still see this person as like my long-term partner, but I'm not getting too emotionally attached to the idea that we can make this work. Uh, this is a little bit of a defense mechanism on your part in the current situation, it seems. Let's take a peek at the near future. I want to see the chariot in the near future. Chariot is clarified by the Three of Swords, Nine of Wands, Five of Cups. Love it. You're moving past the past. You're leaving the past in the past. You're leaving the heartbreak, the emotional pain, the resistance, the walls, the defense mechanisms. You're making a decision in the near future. You just be like, look, what happened in the past, we're leaving it in the past. I'm not dragging it into the present or the future because it doesn't belong there. So it's almost like all the hardships, the heartbreak, the pain, the, all of that, you're like, okay, that's in the past. It's staying in the past. I'm not bringing it with me. And this is the decision that you're making in the near future. Let's clarify the universe in the near future. Universe is clarified by the Ace of Swords, Four of Swords, and the Lovers. This is you. You're closing the chapter. You're like, look, whatever happened in the past, this is a new beginning. And I'm, you're, you're making like a conscious decision to do this. You're showing me like the past is in the past. I am choosing to heal. Like almost imagine like closing a book. That's the past book. And now we're starting a new book together. Okay. You're crystal clear on this. You've made this decision. You have so many aces in this reading. It's all about new beginnings. Ace of wands, ace of swords, ace of, you have all the aces. You got the ace of pentacles twice. You got the ace of swords, ace of cups, ace of wands, new beginning energy. This is beautiful for you, Gemini. Beautiful, beautiful month. Let's take a look at the ace of cups in the near future. Ace of cups is clarified by the eight of wands, the chariot, which you got here in the near future and the empress. New beginning. You and this person are communicating. You're leaving the past in the past. You're moving past it. You're moving in a very positive direction and you're moving towards growth, internal growth for yourself, but also as a result of the new beginning and love that you have with this person. This is beautiful. If you're looking for new, new fresh start energy, this month seems to deliver it for you, Gemini. Let's see what the universe wants you to keep in mind this month. From the universe, you get the High Priestess, the Nine of Swords, and the Death. At the bottom of the deck, you get the Ace of Wands. Deep down, you know this new beginning is coming, okay? You know it. Despite the pain, despite the anxiety, despite the overwhelming feeling of overthinking that you have as a result of this ending that you experienced between you and this person in the past, you still have this like deep knowing. I'm going to get past this. This new beginning is coming. I have no reason to actually stress out. Um... Beautiful reading, honestly, beautiful reading, Gemini. So that is what I have for you. If this reading resonated, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. And of course, if you enjoy what I do, please consider buying me a cup of coffee. Donation link is below in the description box and any and every amount is greatly appreciated. Thank you so, so much for tuning in, Gemini, and I'll see you here on the next one.